Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne, and we're starting our summer garden walk series, and I'm here in Lowell at Harvest Time Family Farm. Really a cool place where they've got some cutting flowers you'll see in the background, a wildflower walk. But today what I want to talk to you about was they asked me to design this butterfly encounter for them. So it was really a cool opportunity to research and decide what kind of plants would work well for the butterflies. Uh, they'd have this beautiful greenhouse that's screened in. You can see we're just finishing the outsides just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Let's take a walk inside the greenhouse. And again, this is called the Butterfly Encounter. They're open Wednesday through Sunday. We will share a link with you about this, but it's really a cool experience. All the plants within here are again attracting pollinators. We've got fun things like lavender, of course, butterfly bush, which is very appropriate for this. Some interesting hydrangeas. This is quick fire that has some uh, fertile flowers as well as sterile. Some grasses in the background. Some beautiful hibiscus for color. Uh, in the center, you'll see a section of allium and black eyed Susans. Uh, again, some more hibiscus, more butterfly bush, and uh, of course, cone flowers, which are a favorite of the butterflies. Uh, some coreopsis as well, different grasses, hyssop. We've provided some shade you can see in the background, and this is great for the butterflies so that they uh, have a little break from the hot sun. The fountain itself, uh, they got an old truck, and uh, Niemeyer's helped them put together the fountain, so it's a very unique water feature within the butterfly encounter. And again, we're just looking at a series of plants, some Russian sage, uh, again, some more hydrangeas, some Joe pie weed, uh, a few trees in through here, Persicaria fire tail, Russian sage. Uh, this is such a cool experience. Uh, again, being in with all these blooming pollinating plants and then being surrounded by a hundred butterflies. So it's really, really a neat experience. We put a few evergreens, some grasses in to make everything look a little bit more natural. Um, and again, the focal point is this water feature. Really making a nice, nice focal point again, surrounding with all the different plants and of course the butterflies. So thank you for joining Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Niemeyer's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here.